Bali is known for its beaches and island life. But it is also so much more than just a tropical paradise. Infused with the technicolor hues of endless rice terraces, shades of the deep blue ocean, and lush green forests amongst lakes, hot springs and volcanoes. The spirits of ancient Hindu deities still permeate the Balinese air with a soulful sense of peace. And right off the coast of Bali lies another paradise island. Nusa Penida, which we just couldn't resist going to. Nusa Penida is perfect for travelers seeking to explore other hidden gems of Indonesia. A country made up of over 17,000 islands. Bali is the most searched travel destination in the world right now. And we wanted to find out why. So we flew to this enchanting island to discover the endless delights it has to offer. And to give you a starter's guide, if you are planning to go there yourself. <laughs> this can also be sensed in the vibrant cultural traditions that the beautiful people of Bali have preserved so well. people are incredibly friendly and will treat you with a warm smile and a welcoming conversation anytime. <laughs> That's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> people here are as warm as the sunshine that bathes this blessed island. Oh, man. Because... Bali's landscape forms a jaw-dropping backdrop to an equally astonishing tradition that will woo any traveller visiting this gorgeous island. Bali is also known for its intricate craftsmanship all of which are deeply intertwined with religious and cultural traditions. This is Ubud Palace and it's beautiful. Balinese people have a deep connection to their natural environment which is reflected in their traditional architecture and daily practices. This tropical paradise will captivate your senses and leave you craving for more. So get ready to ride the Travarat wagon and experience Bali like never before. Get a bonus trip to the next door island of Nusa Penida.
Whenever traveling, who does not love to dabble around with their taste buds? Bali won't disappoint you on that end either. From tantalizing local cuisines to varied options even if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, Balinese kitchens will always have your back. And don't forget to try local beverages. And if you love fruits like we do, then get ready for an absolutely delicious tropical treat. Denpasar, Bali, from Singapore. If you live outside Indonesia, the best way to reach Bali is to fly to Denpasar. We flew from Changi Airport in Singapore. The rupiah is the official currency used throughout Indonesia. While we were there, one USD was approximately 15,000 rupiah. So expect handling large numbered notes, the highest denomination being 100,000. If you plan to drive throughout the island, which is highly recommended, you will want to avoid traffic which can get quite heavy. You can purchase a toll card at supermarkets that will allow you to drive through less busy highways. Bali's climate is warm and tropical and it's a great destination to visit year-round. There are two seasons here. The dry season runs from May to September the wet season from October to April. If you are looking for the best weather conditions, visiting during the dry season is generally recommended. However, we love the rain and enjoy traveling during the end of the wet season. Bali is also home to some of the most stunning and exciting accommodations that you can ask for. This magnificent oceanfront private wooden villa at Josri Bay Hideaway simply took our breath away during our stay here, next to the roaring waves of the ocean. If you are more of a lake person, Bali still has you covered. Lake Batur, which is surrounded by rice fields and is scattered with gorgeous temples and hot springs, is only one of four gorgeous lakes on the island. Both the neighboring islands are full of great accommodations. on our way to the biggest temple complex on the island.
Located in East Bali, Besaki Temple is the largest and holiest temple of Balinese Hinduism. It is also known as the Mother Temple of Bali and is located on the slopes of Mount Agung, the highest volcano on the island. Pisaki Temple is not just one, but rather a complex of 23 different temples that have been built over centuries. The largest and most important temple in the complex is Pura Penataran Agung, which is dedicated to Shiva, the destroyer god. And we were there during the full moon ceremony, one of the most celebrated events on the Balinese calendar where men and women dress in traditional attire and offer kanang sari to the gods. Many families visit the temple on this auspicious day to carry out rituals. The architectural style of Besaki Temple is a blend of several styles including Balinese and Javanese architecture. in Bali is a breathtaking experience. The first thing you notice is the gentle sound of water lapping against the shore and the peaceful stillness of the early morning hours. a hot spring pool next to the lake. Relax, rejuvenate and take in the surrounding view. And it turns out hot springs are even better in the cool breeze of the night.
Oh, this is the right way. The best way to. Go. This is right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. We drove around Bali during our time there. The whole island is small, lush green, and the drives are scenic and beautiful. At the eastern tip of Bali, in Karangasim, lies a private wooden villa, the Jeshri Bay Hideaway. Nestled right next to the shore, this private beach house resort is one heaven of a place. The beautiful sunset next to the ocean welcomed us and the rainbow added the entire spectrum of pretty colors to end the day. It's so pretty out here. I'm gonna live here forever. And we are very thankful for the countless mesmerizing sunsets we got to witness throughout our trip. I want to live in Bali forever. I want to die in the ocean. I want to just walk in there and vanish. And also for the super delicious Balinese food. I'm in love with the peanut sauce. Curry. I love chickpeas. We're eating dinner with the sound of the ocean in the background. And we're going to sleep tonight with the sound of the ocean. This open house villa has a calming effect. And there is no doubt that places like this can bring out your best creative self. Tenganan village is one of the oldest villages in Bali, dating back over 1,000 years. Very popular uh, game in Bali is cock fighting. And then for us, the best taste of meat is cock fighting because the owner gives uh, special food, feeding them with special food. And then massage, uh, there is special men who has many community kids and uh, it's like... What is it? What kind of tree? Chang. It's lemon grass. Oh, the lemon grass is there, isn't it? Did you have money? We got to try local honey and special tea. Color is yellow. Did you do it? So this is the sweet one. Yeah, that is the sweet one. Sour one was actually really good. I like it. Oh, it's good. Sour is very but it's rare tasty. Because um, the normal honey like that one, mm -hmm. uh, every two or three months. Oh, this is twice a year. Oh, one shade. The Balinese people respect their culture and traditions and make active efforts to preserve them.
cremation cremation ceremony Walking through the streets of Bali is like walking through a wonderland where there is so much happening and that too with so much vibrancy. The views of lush green forests, volcanoes and pretty houses while driving through the island is simply breathtaking. And if you get caught up in the rain, there are many wonderful places to make a stop. As the rain stopped, the sky opened up and there was a big volcano right behind us. here which sits right next to the ocean is one of the best that you can find in Bali balconies came magnificent views of the ocean, cool breeze and the sound of the waves crashing onto the shore. There are three tribal wooden cottages here. The one we stayed at came with two bedrooms on the second floor, each with its own large marble bath. The rich timber and exotic furniture within the spacious interiors seamlessly blend with the natural environment. These villas are surrounded by forests and rice paddies where you can go for short hikes. We are going to Nusa Penida Island. We're going from a big island to a smaller island. Which is right over there. Starts over there and then in right there.
Once you reach Nusa Penida, the best way to get around the island is on a scooter. Near Banzar New Harbor. Life here is much more slow paced and relaxed compared even to Bali. Spending time next to the waters of the ocean is a soothing experience. Nusa Penida is a little island with about 50,000 people who subsist largely on fishing and seaweed farming. Tourism, however, has been rising steadily in recent years. The word Nusa actually means island. We are at Lisa Penny the Island. <laughs> I almost said beach, but we are at an island and we're enjoying this beautiful sunset. So red. An hour. A lot of boats and ships around here, and people are fishing. And we can hear the prayer at the masjid. We're calling for prayer. It's really beautiful out here. I'm glad we decided to come here. <laughs> As night falls, restaurants, cafes and local eateries bustle with tourists. We found a place to try some local cuisine. and then followed it up with some more food at a nearby restaurant before spending the rest of the night listening to live music. Are you tortillas? Crystal Bay, a beach on the west side of the island. Petrol! Petrol, gasoline. Do you only ride a scooter? Ah, keep me with sub number. We found a nice little cottage near the beach where we could spend the night after spending the entire day at the beach. Crystal Bay is located near the village of Sakti and is quite popular. Masuk. 
but there is another quieter beach about 15 minutes hike away which you can have all to yourself collecting seashells at the seashore is like going on a treasure hunt of wonders from the ocean floor After spending a few days in Nusa Penida, you can always head back and continue exploring Bali. Unlike the overcast weather the day we came here, the sun was out on the day we were headed back. And it seemed like the rainy season was almost over. The island of Bali is all about finding balance, harmony and peace and Balinese Hinduism is a great reflection of that. The full and new moon days have special importance for the Balinese as their yearly calendar is based on the phases of the moon. On the day of the full moon, people dress in their traditional attire, visit local temples and offer fruits and flowers to the gods. The Pura Ulun Danu Batur was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 2012. We love this temple so much that we have already been here twice in the past 12 hours. Surrounded by stunning natural beauty, it is not only a gorgeous temple, but also an important part of Balinese culture and history, making it a must-visit destination for anyone. We met these lovely ladies when we were at the temple and they even sang a song for us. <laughs> That's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
With its lush green rice paddies, stunning temples and thriving art scene, there is never a shortage of things to do in this charming town. Many of the homes and guest houses in this area feature lovely gardens and outdoor living spaces where you can relax and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. Lush tropical plants and traditional Balinese statues are the centerpieces of such spaces. Oh, Nepal? Nepal. Yeah. Oh, Nepal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is the perfect place to yeah. play. Yeah. Kuta Tribis. Yeah. Kuta. The neighborhoods of central Ubud are a vibrant and eclectic mix of traditional Balinese architecture. We often walked into houses which we originally thought were grand temples. Beautiful sculptures of Hindu gods and goddesses can be seen throughout the neighborhoods of Bali. The gardens and temples you come across will make you stop in awe. The streets are lined with charming shops where you can browse for unique handcrafted goods. It's natural. Oh. Yeah, it's not by coloring. Oh. Yeah. With smoke. Yeah.
There are plenty of cool cafes throughout Bali where you can eat good food, work and chill. The Monkey Forest in Ubud is a nature reserve and Hindu temple complex that is home to hundreds of long-tailed macaques. It is a popular tourist attraction known for its beautiful jungle setting and the playful and mischievous monkeys. This is Ubud Palace and it's beautiful. It used to be my home once long long time ago. <laughs> In the heart of Ubud, you will find the iconic Ubud Palace with its stunning architecture and intricate carvings. The palace is surrounded by delightful gardens, creating a beautiful oasis in the middle of the bustling town. The palace was the official residence of the royal family of Ubud until the 1940s. It features a unique blend of Balinese, Javanese and Chinese architectural influences, reflecting the cosmopolitan nature of the Ubud royal court. You will see people making offerings to the gods at the many temples that are scattered throughout. Not too far from the palace is the Saraswati Temple of Ubud. Puratpaman Saraswati Temple is dedicated to the Hindu goddess of knowledge and wisdom, Saraswati. Located in the heart of the cultural district, the temple is famous for its stunning lotus pond apart from its architecture.
The Padang Padang Beach in southern Bali is only accessible through a narrow entrance carved into a cliff, giving it a secluded and intimate feel. Here there. It is a picturesque beach located on the Bukit Peninsula. This beach has been featured in several popular movies including Eat, Pray, Love starring Julia Roberts which has helped to make it a popular tourist destination. Just a little bit away from the beach, there is a secluded rocky cliff next to a temple. We are at Padang Padang Beach in Bali. I think being in the ocean and being in the mountains are quite similar in the sense that makes you feel in awe of nature. There is a stunning Balinese sea temple in Uluwatu at the southernmost tip of Bali. The Uluwatu temple sits on the edge of a 230 feet cliff overlooking the Indian Ocean. The views of the surrounding landscape are simply awe-inspiring. Watching the religious ceremonies taking place inside the temple is equally breathtaking. Make sure to be wary of the macaques or crab-eating monkeys in the surrounding forest as they can sometimes get mischievous, like stealing your cap right from your head. Or even your latest iPhone. <laughs> The Uluwatu temple is particularly famous for its kachak dance performances. The kachak is a traditional Balinese dance depicting the story of the Ramayana, a Sanskrit epic from ancient India, one of the two important epics of Hinduism. In the ancient epic, the monkey god Hanuman helps Ram, a prince and avatar of Lord Vishnu to win back his wife Sita, who is abducted by the demon king of Lanka, Ravan. The dazzling colors of the show, the hypnotic chants and the impeccable theatricals from the performing artist make the Kachak dance at the Uluwatu temple a mesmerizing show.
Watching Kachak dance is a unique cultural experience that should not be missed as it's a perfect way to immerse oneself in Balinese art and tradition. Food is an integral part of any travel and the same goes for Bali. Make sure to devour as many of these delicious dishes as you can. Connecting with people and experiencing their cultures is the essence of traveling and that is what differentiates a traveler from a tourist. Hello. Hi. Lots of beautiful house. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I stay with my family. Okay. I have son, I have granddaughter, granddaughter. Yeah. You don't look like you have a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> she still uh, have the biggest bed and still make a close with the mother. Uh, nice. What's your name? My name is Smriti. Smriti. My name is Mate. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> While strolling through the neighborhood in Uluwatu, we came across this team of young artists who were preparing these larger-than-life sculptures of gods and demons for Nepi, also called the Day of Silence. <laughs> so, do you, do you all live here? Yeah, I live here. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the massive statue of Vishnu Garuda at the Kenchana Cultural Park. The 122 meter tall sculpture is the tallest statue of any Hindu deity in the world. We hope you enjoyed Bali and the atmosphere of this magical island and that of its next door neighbor as much as we did. The love and warmth we received and the friends we made during our stay in Bali will remain in our hearts forever. The beauty of nature and Balinese culture will be an experience that will define and redefine our art for years to come. The sun in Bali rises with grace, a gentle warmth upon your face, a place of magic where the gods reside and time moves at its own gentle stride. Balinese people with hearts of gold their warmth and love never grow old. A place where art and culture intertwine and peace and harmony are always Bali in line. Bali is beautiful and so are Balinese people. Very makasi Bali. While traveling, be aware and respectful of the cultures and beliefs of a place and its people and you will see that same love and respect reflected back to you in your experiences. 
Join us as we continue our quest to find love and beauty as we traverse the world. And no matter where you are from, we hope to bump into you someday in one of our travels.